Here I have the wooden circle that I made in a previous video. And now in this video, I will use the jigsaw jig to cut a bevel all around the edge of this wooden circle. I want to cut a bevel with a 45 degrees angle. So if I want to cut a bevel that has here this length, a 45 degrees bevel will have the same length here. Then I will cut here 2 centimeters. So here the cut will also enter 2 centimeters. I take this mark to the circle cutting jig. I have to take into account that the cutting blade has to be from the mark to the outside of the wooden circle. I draw the angle. And I draw the cutting line. So I will cut a 45 degrees slot until I reach around this point. Then I cut the slot like this, but the cutting blade must look to the opening of the slot, so it is tilted to the wrong side. So now I have to change the inclination of the cutting blade to the other side. And now it enters perfect in the slot with the blade teeth looking to the front of the jig and it is tilted to the correct side. One problem is that this jigsaw jig does not enter here under the circle. But to sort out this, I will cut the part of the support that goes beyond the bearings. Ok, I have already cut the support. So now I can take the cutting blade to the inside of the circle to cut the bevel. Ok, I have already mounted the jigsaw in the vertical cuts meter jig. And I have to screw the circle jig here. I have to align the two circle points with the teeth of the blade. I do my best to align both jigs. And I insert the screws. I have to make sure that the head of the screws are under the plywood surface. And here I have the woodworking jig that I will use to cut a perfect bevel in the wooden circle. Then here I have the bevel cutting jig. I insert the first pivot pin. And I have to cut until I reach the mark. Here I have reached the mark. I insert the second pivot pin. I remove the first pivot pin and now I can cut the bevel all around the edge of the wooden circle.
Here I have the line that tells the end of the bevel. I have to cut until I reach the line. I take the bevel cutting jig away. And don't tell, it doesn't look a perfect and precise cut. Here we can see one side of the circle. And here the other side with the 45 degrees bevel. A clean and perfect cut, perfectly parallel to both sides of the circle. I think I will use this to make a small wooden table. Well, the only problem I had is that when reaching the end of the cut, the blade jumped to the outside of the bevel, so it left this ugly mark. Nothing I cannot fix with some sanding. You can find in the information of this video the links to the related videos. Thanks for watching. And if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to click the bell to get all the notifications when I upload a new video.